So good afternoon, good morning, uh, depending on where you are in the world. I'm Najee Al-Wazir. I currently work as a senior advisor with the Middle East Bureau at USAID. Um, I'm pleased to welcome you all to the first webinar on decentralization and local governance in the Middle East and North Africa. I'll be referring to this as MENA throughout. Uh, today's webinar is going to be providing a comparative analysis on subnational governance in the Middle East and North Africa. And as uh, Jamie had said, the webinar is presented um, and organized by the Local Public Sector Alliance together with MSI and USAID. We're going to kick off today's discussion with an overview on the comparative analysis. Um, USAID commissioned this study in order to understand the, what legal and policy frameworks existed in the MENA countries in which we work. We wanted to know what was in place versus the reality and practice on the ground. Um, we've seen an uptick and a, and a resurgence in interest in decentralization post-2011, the Arab Spring, and we were keen on understanding how much progress has been made and what the challenges were. Um, and as a result, you know, many lessons and considerations have emerged and themes um, when we were looking at the research. And I'm really excited that today we're gonna be given an opportunity to understand what those are and to hear from Dr. Lynn Carter about um, you know, some of the things that we've learned from this research. Um, and so with that, you know, I'm going to uh, introduce uh, briefly our, our speakers and presenters uh, today in the order in which they're going to be contributing. At the end of my introductory remarks here today, we're going to have Dr. Lynn um, Carter start with the comparative analysis. And just a really brief bio on who she is. Trust me, I could go on for like 10 minutes talking about her, her bio, um, but we're gonna keep this short. Uh, she's a former senior vice president at the Management Systems um, International. It's a Tetra Tech company. And um, she's currently a part-time advisor working on governance and conflict mitigation. She's a political scientist by training. Um, after this presentation, we're then going to ask two discussants to give us their perspectives on decentralization and local governance in the Middle East. And each of these discussants have unique perspectives and well-informed um, experience to provide insights. Uh, the first is Leonardo Romeo. Uh, Romeo, sorry, am I mispronouncing that? Um, he currently teaches a, a decentralized development planning and development project appraisal at New York University, NYU. He's the former principal advisor for local development at the United Nations Capital Development Fund. And for the last 30 years, he's done extensive research on uh, decentralization reforms and design related to implementations globally and in the Middle East, most recently in Tunis. Um, he also currently advises the EU on subnational governance. So we're really excited to have him join us today. And then second, our second discussant today is Salim Rohana, who's a program leader for sustainable development covering the Mashraq for the World Bank uh, based out of Beirut, Lebanon. Um, and prior to this, he's worked as an urban development and resilience specialist and team leader in Tunis, in Senegal, and in Washington, DC, where he's also primarily worked on areas related to urban governance, local development, decentralization, low-income housing, and urban resilience. So we have quite a bit of um, really rich experience today to add to our discussion. I'm very excited about that. And with all that being said, I'm gonna present, I'm gonna pass the floor to Dr. Lynn Carter to present the exciting USAID research on comparative analysis of the MEDA subnational governance. Over to you, Lynn, thank you. 